What's going on guys? Digidestin here. Welcome again to another pickup video. Very excited about this one. I got some gifts. I got some thrifted finds as well as an awesome offer up find. So I cannot wait to show you what I got. All right, first thing I want to show you are some thrifted finds. Uh, first thing is a plush. This one's a little uncommon. I can't really find a lot of information about it. Um, but it came from Valley Village. It's in this little pack. As you can see, it's a Mario. Uh, if we open this up, it's this little guy here. He's actually very firm. He's not a bean bag at all. And this one's made by Toy Sight. I don't know if you can see that or if you'll ever be able to see that. Uh, but it's made by Toy Sight. Uh, apparently this was a keychain, so it's got the little hook there. It's missing his keychain part. Um, and I saw images of this online uh, with packaged with the Yoshi, so it came as a two-pack. came out in 2002. Uh, other than that, I don't really have much more information about it. If you do know anything about this or the value of it, please let me know in the comments down below. But this was a cool little find uh, by my fiance at Valley Village. It was like $2.99 for the pack, so... I figured $2.99 for just as Mario is, is just as worth it. All right, the next secondhand finds are from Half Price Books. Uh, these are a little uncommon. I don't see these in Half Price Books or even Valley Villages or thrift stores too often at all. First one is Consumer Guide Super Strategies for Nintendo. And I have a couple of these already, uh, except for this one is bound by a spiral. Uh, it's like a spiral notebook. And uh, it's very cool. Again, it's just tips and tricks for you to go through your games. I got this for $5 from Half Price Books. Goes up goes up to Metal Storm. Uh, what else we got in here? Quantum Fighter, some awesome games. Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. There's even some Game Boy games, Side Pocket in here. Very cool. Um, you don't come across these too often. I come across Nintendo Powers more often than this Consumer Guide Strategies for Nintendo. So this was a cool little find. Uh, the other thing that we found at Half Price Books was a comic book. We got ourselves some Captain N, the Game Master. This was three bucks. Nintendo comic system. And it was sold as is. I'm just guessing because if we look closely, or if I look closely at the spine of this comic book, it looks like the, the cover actually wants to come off of it. So it probably separated from the staples that's holding this book together. Uh, I'm gonna not risk opening this up because this might be a duplicate. It's just pretty cool to find uh, a Captain N comic in the wild. So, two very cool pickups, book pickups from Half Price Books. All right, next up is the offer up find. Uh, fortunately, this person was fairly close to me, and they listed a bunch of PlayStation 2 games, and they listed them at five dollars a piece. And at five dollars a piece, you really can't beat that. So I messaged this person. Let them know which games I was interested in. And she was actually willing to hold them for me. Even though I wouldn't be able to meet up with her until like later on. But she was able to hold up, hold these games for me uh, until I showed up. Which was very nice of her. So these games uh, were... We have Disgaea for PlayStation 2. And all of these games except for one uh, have their manuals and their discs. And their cases as well. We have Disgaea 2. So we have both Disgaea's. Ring of Red 3D Strategic Warfare, a Konami game. This one I've actually never heard of. Never seen this before. Looks kind of cool. Dark Cloud 2. This one's probably the most expensive game out of the bunch. Nothing, nothing too crazy, um, but all decent titles for $5 a piece. La Pucelle Tactics. I think that's how you pronounce it. And the last game is Capcom Classics Collection. And this is probably the only game that I'll be keeping out of the bunch. Uh, unfortunately, this is the one that's missing the manual. All the other games that I picked up were for, for trade or for sale. Um, but yeah, this is the one I'll be keeping for my collection. But yeah, all those were, were $5 a piece. Um, she did mention that she'd be willing to do a bundle deal. But the reason she was selling it was so... She could buy some new games, some PS4 games for the, her kids. Um, and I thought that was really nice, so I decided to pull, pay full price, or her asking price, 
uh, for these uh, just so they could get a little extra money to, to enjoy those video games so pretty cool offer up pickup and we're moving on now to the gifts so these gifts uh, one's from a close friend of mine a high school buddy of mine and uh, or not high school buddy but I've known him since high school and the other one is actually from my fiance these were actually Christmas gifts I never got around to showing you them um, but I decided this would be a good chance to show you them they're very cool this one specifically is not video game related but it is right in line with my interest I am a big fan of other nerdy things like like anime uh, and this is kind of something I grew up on this is Dragon Ball Z um, and I recently got into Dragon Ball Super so this is a statue of Goku in one of his forms hopefully there's no spoilers out there um, but this was given to me by one of my great friends um, for Christmas I haven't opened it yet but it looks really really cool it looks very detailed um, almost looks like it's stylized after the the artwork and not necessarily like a 3d mold or like a 3d interpretation of the drawing uh, it looks like it's trying to be the drawing itself in terms of his details so I like that a lot huge fan of artwork so there's that very cool statue of Goku from Dragon Ball Super and then the last thing I'm gonna show you is this gift from my fiance um, probably my favorite thing out of this this video entire <laughs> the entirety of this video came from Mondo Tees and of course I love 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 Castlevania um, picked up one of their original uh, vinyl discs of the original soundtrack as well as their original poster that came along with it uh, and then they decided to release a jigsaw puzzle said uh this is a thousand piece puzzle of the same print uh, of the same Castlevania print that they released years ago uh, when the first one came out so Castlevania one um, it's a thousand piece puzzle so my fiance and I love doing jigsaw puzzles um, and she knows that I love collecting those with her um, but the fact that this is Castlevania just takes it up to that next level uh, if I ever end up doing this one this one will for sure uh, keep my interest um, when when doing it so this is gonna be very cool it'd be very cool to see this one a completed puzzle maybe hung up framed next to the actual poster itself that'd be very cool but yes yeah, so thank you for for this to my fiance thank you to my fiance for this I really appreciate it. Thank you to my other great friend for this awesome Goku statue. Um, and then thank you to uh, Luck and the Wild for all those awesome other awesome pickups. And those were all my pickups for this week. Uh, if you did like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. I have other pickups, tips and tricks, gameplays, as well as streams. And with that being said, we'll see you guys on the next one.